TVC News, Wari. Well, to the nation's capital, civil society organizations have called on the federal government to take proactive measures to ensure it upholds the highest standard of accountability and integrity across the public sector. Maria Mohammed reports. Corruption has it in deep into the fabrics of the public sector, which is a major problem in most African countries, including Nigeria. This has dented the image of the country. It is why this civil society organization has embarked on tracking the level of corruption and mismanagement of funds in the public sector. <laughs> this gathering is to present the Transparency and Integrity Index Methodology Handbook for 2024. This has been ongoing since 2021. Today, the federal government and public sector have acknowledged improvement in monitoring management of funds since last year's workshop. It's heartwarming to state that since the maiden workshop, improvements have been recorded in view of MDA's compliance to the fulfillment of the index methodology assessment, an indication that the virtues of transparency and accountability has gradually been embraced as hallmark for delivering public goods and services. Anywhere you find yourself, in any agency where you're working, the EU of fiscal transparency, the EU of public integrity of the data you are extreme, and the EU of accountability in your office is very critical. There is an urgent need to continue to tackle corruption at all levels by keying into the Transparency and Integrity Index initiative. You should have an anti-corruption policy. There's a difference between anti-corruption policy and anti-bribery policy. Though you could do them as one document. When we check and we see it's a one document, we take correct. The most importantly, a whistleblower policy. We have made commitment there. When people see these things, how, what is the mechanism for reporting these things? Even though we, we know we don't have a whistleblower law, we don't have a witness protection law, but we, are, we have already made commitments on this whistleblower in the international community we must have. They want all hands on deck to tackle corruption. Tackle corrupt practices in Nigeria's public sector. The group encourage accountability, integrity and transparency through advocacy in order to enhance human dignity as it is the only way to move the nation forward. Mari Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.